tips. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six brain gear options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this uh, silhouette design uh, with uh, uh, gears like brain here. And then what happens here is when I click, uh, this gear will start uh, spinning and then the, the remaining six options will come. When I click, you can see here, the gear started spinning and then when I click, it will come a semicircle here and then the first option come you can see your option one you can add the details then you can see this is the option two option three four five and six this is a very beneficial slide for school students as well as for working professionals and i have made one more slide a little bit different let me just show you you can see here here the complete uh, silhouette uh, head silhouette uh, template i have used or the image i have used and when i click this will open up and then the gears will be visible so let me just show you you can see uh, it opens something like this and then the gears are started spinning so depending on your requirement you can choose whichever slide you need so this looks more modern and more useful also and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial to make this slide i'm going to use a png file which i've downloaded from the net so if you can see here this is the silhouette of a man's head so i'm just going to copy it here to the new slide you can see here this is a png file all right and then what i'm going to do is from the skull area i'm just going to cut it okay so for this let me just select this rectangle you can just create any rectangle you can see here or you can just go to insert and just uh, make a rectangle so to save the time i'm just going to use the already existing one so what i'm going to do if you see here let me just uh, format shape and then let me just make it somewhat transparent so you can see here the area which is highlighted that area i'm going to cut it so either you can cut it completely or you can make it another shape for the other purpose also you can use it but let me just cut it so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to select this head silhouette and then i'm going to select this uh, uh, rectangle by holding the shift key then go to the format shape you can see a merge shape and i'm just going to make it a subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this then what you need to do if you remember a couple of days back i have created this the gear uh, slide so i'm going to copy this one again to save the time so let me just select both of this Control c and i'm just going to paste it here you can see here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change the color of this so that it will be more visible maybe i'm going to make it green and then i if i want i can just reduce the size of the blue circle you can see here i can just reduce it as per my requirement okay by holding the control shift key okay together so maybe this size is okay then what i'm going to do is i can simply select this and hold the shift key select this one and this also i can simply subtract it so you can see here i end up getting a shape something like this and then hold the shift key reduce the size now i'm going to make many of these gears and then i'm just going to put it here you can see here the start of the head from here and then press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just going to change the color to some other color you can see here like this and i'm just going to place it something like this so that the wheels or the teeth are connected kind of thing and you can change any size also again let me just select this by pressing ctrl d and then i'm going to give maybe a blue color and i want to increase the size of this so hold the shift key just increase the size you can see here i'm just increasing the size again press ctrl d i'm going to add very small uh, you can see here only this much size and I'm going to place it here and then this color also I'm just going to change to some other color now I can add as many as I want depending on my requirements so I'm just again press ctrl D I'm just adding it here you can see here all right and change the color to match your requirement press ctrl D let me just reduce the size I'm just adding it here 
okay we can see here it's all kind of interconnected and give some different color press ctrl d let me just increase the size a little bit and i'm going to add it here if you want you can just turn it something like this all right and then this one again i'm going to give maybe a orange color so like this you can add many gears you can see here i'm just going to add one more here let me just give some different color and few more at the top press ctrl d and i'm just going to add it here one more all right and ctrl d one more i'm just going to fill it here so you can see here i've added this many gears now let me just uh, change the color again for this and uh, let me just give some other colors you can see here and if you feel that if you want to just reduce the size increase the size whatever you can just you can do something like this you can see here i can just increase it or reduce it all right so let me just make it more here this one also i just need to bring it more down and i can just make it like this so you can see here and then once this is done uh, that i can bring this uh, the image up so before doing that one what i want to do is i'm going to select ctrl a press ctrl a select all and then i'm just going to bring it down you can see here something like this and make sure that it is center aligned so go to view enable the guides so it is i think it's center only so let me just remove the guides then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the animations to it so for that go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to select the first one okay and add animation just select spin you can see i started spinning and double click this and here the timing instead of medium make it very slow and repeat until end of the slide and click ok so it will keep on repeating until you end the slide so let me just move this a little bit which is inside all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this animation painter and click on the second one second one it should rotate the anti-clockwise so this is the clockwise right so i'm just going to select this one and select the anti-clockwise and the timings everything remains same click ok you can see here and this one should happen with previous so if i play you can see here both started playing now it's very easy for me so one i'm going to take clockwise another anti-clockwise so this is the clockwise i'm just going to select and click on this and then again i'm just going to select this one here i'm going to click on here okay so if i just make this also with previous if i play you can see here it rotates something like this always it's it has to rotate the opposite direction and then again what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this animation painter click on here again make sure that this is this has to come down all right so if i play you can see here something like this and then again i can select this animation painter click on this again i'm just selecting this so just click on for each and everything so if even sometimes it uh, uh, rotating or spinning in the same direction not a problem so let me just do this one and then i'm going to do select this all right i think i've selected all this also make it with previous and if i play you can see here all are rotating once this is done what i'm going to do i'm going to select this image and go to picture format bring to front all right so if i play now it looks something like this all right so you can see here the animation is completed for this let me just close this then i'm going to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle and you can see the small orange point drag it outside all right depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the width so let me just put this much again align i'm just going to make it center and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut uh, from the bottom part 
let me just zoom out a little bit then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the area where you want to cut it so i'm just want to cut it from here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the hollow circle hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this shape outline make it no outline and make sure that it is properly aligned maybe our circle or the, these shapes are not in center so let me just arrange it properly all right maybe this okay i believe and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the options depending on my requirement four five six whatever so let me just go to insert shapes select the old shape i'm just going to draw a small old shape by holding the shift key okay and then just put it here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can just choose any color what you have used uh, inside the gears i'm just going to maybe selecting the green here and then i'm just going to add one more small oval shape on top of this we can see here just reduce the size by holding the shift key and then change the color to white and bring it on to the top of this we can see here and if it is not fit, fitting it properly then what you can do is you can just select both of this and then align center align middle okay and this you can give some shadow effect also go to format shape and effects shadow and give some shadow effect here all right let me just give like this then i'm just going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate so on the left i'm going to add three options and on the right i'm going to add three options so these are the three options on to the left and press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to add three more to the right you can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned i believe there's some problem with my laptop today it's very very slow i don't know the reason so please bear with me okay right so i've just added this one and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this and then i can just change the color as per the requirement or the colors what i have used inside the gears okay so you can see here let me just select maybe orange for this and here i'm going to choose maybe purple yes all right so you can see here our basic design is almost done now it's time to add the options and more detailed text here so let me just go to insert text box and i'm just going to type say option 01 right mouse click sorry right aligned and if you want to make it bold and i'm going to choose the same color what i have used here the green color and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here all right so this also i'm going to make it right align and then just put it here and both of this make sure that it is all aligned properly and then move it here you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add it for this Control D for this. Again, Control D. Bring the other side. You can see here. And this one, I'm going to make it, you know, align left. And here also align left. All right. So this is this one. Press Control D. I'm just going to use it one more here press ctrl d and then this is the last one now depending on the requirement i'm just going to change the numbers let me just make it two this is three this is four this is five this is six and then change the colors as per the color which we have chosen in the circle so this could be this one this would be a kind of a brown 
all right and then this is the orange and here the purple all right and then what you need to do is i'm just going to select both and press ctrl g you can see here just select this control sorry shift key and group it all right or you can just use the mouse also to group it all right so you can see here our design is ready if you want to add some title here you can add the title here and you can add some basic animation to this one so if i just play the slide when i click you can see here it looks something like this all right so as i said if you want to do some more animations you can just simply add the animations and if you want this also the line to be a gradient fill so what i'm going to do is let me just select a linear and the one stop i'm going to select the green color here you can see here which is i'm going to select the one then i'm going to add one more stop i'm going to select the blue you can see here one more stop i'm going to select this color let me just increase the size and then i'm just going to add one more for this brown for this orange and then the last purple so you can see here it looks something like this also and then you can add some small animation effect to this